What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Liv and it's the 10th day of Vlogmas. So it means we have only two episodes left and we are done with this mini series and we're gonna go back into the Rologs and I've got a few surprises for you coming up. So on this 10th day of Vlogmas, I decided that I wanted to do something that I've been dying to do for a long, long time. Well, today I'm actually gonna be reacting to Christmas fails. I had a poll on Instagram and I wanted you guys to tell me what you would want to see exactly. And the winner was reacting to Christmas fails. So let's get into it. Okay, so this Santa one is, is pretty funny. I mean, compared to everything else that's gonna be later in this video, you're gonna see that this one is actually really normal. I don't know how people do not see what we're about to see together. So, Santa is actually normal. <laughs> yeah, of course, he has his eyelashes on his iris, but who can tell the difference? I mean, right? It's just... Okay, so this one was actually the first picture I saw when I actually searched for Christmas fails. And I found it to be actually the opening to what is going to come next. So, yeah. You're gonna get the pun later. Actually, when I saw this picture, first thing I was thinking was, oh my god, can you imagine doing this and calling grandma? And then, as I was saying it, I started reading the caption and, well, apparently grandma made them. So, I don't think she would have had a heart attack, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, the next one is actually a very good tip. Um, when you buy Christmas wrapping paper, make sure that when you cover your present, you read what the paper says, if it has writings on it. Because if not, well, you might give your mom a present wrapped in this. <laughs> so, yeah, let it snow may not be such a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so this one is good. This one is really good because actually these underpants are somewhat like what we have here in Bucharest right now. Okay, so you have this picture with some lights that are, are placed exactly like underpants. But what we have in Romania is way better. We have this, this, right? This, right here, is Christ, crucified. And they put little wings on him to seem that, to look like an angel. They put little wings on him to look like it's an angel. But it's actually Jesus, crucified, for Christmas. Yeah, I think we win that one. <laughs> Hit the like button if you agree with me. Okay, so this one was actually a. It, I, I. Why someone would actually write this on the description of bells? Bell shaped bells. I. Uh, how, how are bells supposed to look? How would they look if not like bells? I mean, why would you write that on the packaging? Was there someone that didn't know how bells actually looked like? Is there someone out there like that? Is there? Because, my friend, if you don't know what a bell looks like, you should use Google. I mean, it's really simple. Type in bell and you'll get the same image. Companies should not be encouraging this kind of behavior. I swear to God. Okay, so this one is actually first one, this. This was the first I saw because there is another one because they said, okay, it's not creepy enough that there's a little girl saying, Santa, I've been a good girl, please stop. It wasn't enough that, that they made that. They decided they don't want to be sexist on this one. So they also made the male version. So why not have female and male version? Kids saying, Santa, please stop. I've been a good boy or girl. 
This one also gave me a bit of a brain freeze because I don't understand why someone would actually encourage people to jump for joy off a bridge because that's where you put the sign. You know that people do not read between the lines and they will actually do this literally because they say, hey, I need to jump for joy. And Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And if you want some holiday cheer and some good old fashioned fun and joy, well, decorate your house with these lovely Santas and elves. I think that this is a very, very lovely family friendly decoration. Honestly, who makes these? Is it the same company that makes these? Because I'm literally confused. The next pictures that you're gonna see, honestly, trust me, they are all the same. Yeah, this one's good. It's actually really good because why wouldn't you decorate your palm tree with lights? And why wouldn't you actually take a picture and not realize what exactly it looks like? Because, well, apparently, if you didn't recognize it from one palm tree, I think that's why they didn't see it on a hundred of them. So apparently, people don't really see what's going on. Well, this Christmas ornament is fun to have in the house. And when your kids are gonna ask, Mommy, Mommy, what's that? Well, oh no, honey, that's just a sculpture of you when you decided to leave your daddy and live in your mommy. Yeah, go tell your kid that. I don't know what is more disturbing, the fact that the snowman is on a stripper pole or the fact that under him, it's all bloody. Where did all the blood come from? Did he kill a stripper for that pole or is he just bleeding? Cause that's, I, I have no idea. I put my ears on, it's not that I'm cold, but I like it, they're cute and I'm gonna wear them. Well, this one too, it, it kind of made me laugh, not just because of the shape, but actually, look at how the writing is. So if you read it, he, that person also put the wrapping paper upside down. So now it doesn't read, ho, ho, ho. It reads just, oh, oh, oh. On a shape. It's a pink one, a humongously pink one. God. While some parents have a way of showing their love to their children, especially around the holidays, but either these daughters have been really, really naughty or their mom really did not see the connection there. I mean, yeah, mom, thank you. Yeah, mom, thanks for letting us know how much you care. This is going to be my new Instagram picture. Best mom ever. And it's not that she made a mistake with one of them. No, she actually put three hoes under her daughters. So that's amazing. I not only love this picture, but I love the caption for it. I mean, does that look like a Christmas tree to you guys? Because honestly, it is humongous. It is like building high. I mean, and why is there a box right next to it? Is it the box that it came in? I, I, why, why Paris, why would you do that, honestly? Hello Paris, yes, Shrek online too, apparently you got something of his. Well that's all I had for you guys today, thank you so much for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I like making it, so. So if you enjoyed it, just hit the like button, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, tell me if you guys want me to do more react videos and on what subject, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell icon to be notified every single time I post a video, 
and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Mwah.